My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how are you? Jim, Zach, everyone tuning in. I'm good. Uh, Good football weekend, good sports weekend. It's really cold in the Northeast. I do have some bad hair going on. Reveal later. That's how you make people watch the whole video. How are you doing? I'm... I'm well. Jim, big baseball weekend as it always is in mid to late January. Yeah. Actually, we did have a fun update. You like this a little more than I thought on my thought meter. Uh, your San Francisco Giants, we'll talk about Gabe Kapler later. They're trolling the Dodgers, it looks like, giving out some Mickey Mouse ears for a fan giveaway this year. Seemingly a shot at their world championship in the year of 2020. Yes, good summation of what's going on here. People are like, it appears to be a troll. And then I just read an article and I was like, it's just Disneyland Day at the stadium, it just happens to be in the Dodgers show. I'm like, no way. Even if that's the case, the Giants would be like, ooh, that's when the Dodgers come to town. People might take that the wrong way. Maybe let's avoid it if they wanted to. Instead, they said, no, that's funny. It's a good troll, Jake, because it stings. Ooh. Like, it's really where you poke them and you can have fun. And it kind of brings this meme, which started as just like haters on the internet, uh, to like, oh, wait. Like the PR people Mm. of a baseball team are doing this. I'm not as hype. It's mostly a Giants problem, though. The Dodgers just signed like the best players in baseball and are going to be great for another 10 years. Oh, see, I think it's like Like, um, they might beat them on this day, like 25 to 2. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, the Giants are like dead and buried. And with their last breath, they're saying some like hateful shit. The bully is picking on everyone. He's better than you, smarter than you. You're a little like weasel. And you're like, your your dad died. Right. I was in a similar genre. I wasn't going death. Jim, this story goes hand in hand with this almost a breakdown that you liked. A couple things you like. High school hockey announcers screams. A puck goes over the glass, over the netting and towards him. And this is his reaction to that. Murphy throws the pass across. (laughs) <laughs> and then he's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And then he says, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said, oh, my God. For saying, oh, my God, I shouldn't be saying that. I'm sorry. Just That's the scream of a foreigner from, like, a real hot country that's never seen, like, ice, Ooh, big nets, a puck, and is, like, being held hostage. Right. Like, you can't have mm. been to a hockey game before, and that's your reaction to what happens every hockey game. <laughs> this could be the worst moment of his life. Oh, for sure. He doesn't like that we're talking about it. It's the second worst moment. <laughs> Back to the sports. Speaking of sports, DraftKings. We've got all of our DraftKings <laughs> sports <laughs> monocles here. Go check them out. Jim, we've got a TBT going on. Throwback Thursday. Tuesday, marathon runner... Our guy, Uncle Chen, disqualified in a marathon again. We talked about this guy a little over a year ago. I don't want to do it. Which would you rather do? Chain smoke for three and a half hours or run a marathon? Can I wear wheelies? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I'll do 10 cigarettes if I get wheelies. And I can't believe it because last time we were talking about him, I believe they said he set the Guinness Book World Records or he set some world record for you know, running a marathon while chain smoking. Yeah. And then I said I would do it and I did. So I tied him. And his response was, I wasn't trying to win any record. I just like smoking and running. Right. He's smoking and running and they're DQing him. This whole world so the flip flops unreal. Jim, our warehouse games is rolling right now. You might hear about that come and play of the week. And we're making up games, we're making up rules. For this, I'm a little mad because the one line they put in was you can't defecate. Fine. Smoke related sometimes, or trample flower beds. That's one rule. And to lump those three things together, I don't know. I don't well, like that, you know, and I don't love that for UC. Unk. You take a quick break, and you go shit in the flower beds while you're smoking your cigarette, and then you stomp your cigarette out in the flower beds. You keep running. Like, that's marathon running for Unk Chen. Not a bad day. So I'm not allowed to have a pit stop? Oh, so no more fun. Yeah. Why don't we just say that before we run the marathon? <laughs> what if I'm not part of your marathon? I'm just running this route. What are you running from? Walk faster. Gabe Kepler. Just walk faster. You have a 17-minute drive, and it's also a 10-minute walk. You like this not sports because it happened to you or something like that? I don't know if I've ever been stuck in a bathroom. Passenger trapped in airplane bathroom for entire flight gets note from attendant. It's really nice handwriting, but he locked the door and they couldn't undo it. And the note says, sir, we tried to unlock the door. We can't do it. We're landing soon. 
So please just close the lid to the commode and sit down and we'll be with you soon. So first thing I looked up, how long is this flight? It said it was only an hour. That's fine. The airplane flushing always scares me a little bit. It's really powerful. You don't like the noise or you think you're going to get sucked down? Both. When you get the note, that's a bad feeling. What's going on with Can you? Can you bewitch your nose? More lips than nose, I think. The part that did make me mad now that I'm thinking about it, to get him out, they basically just busted down the door. That should have been the plan from the first moment. Yeah, it feels like they should have like a drill or something on there to get someone out if they get stuck in there. We could body one of those doors. Have. Maybe he was smoking cigs. So they said to stay in there. There's a chance this was this guy's heaven. Yeah. Ripping darts, ripping farts. Uh, employee of the week. It's, it's the, the employee, employee of the week. week. It's, it's the a double situation because this is my hair reveal. Oh! Put it on. Rob Moretti. Warehouse Bobby. Captain's League draft video and trade window came out. First time we've ever had a video of that sort. With Ronnie's help, the whole Captain's League was a very quick turnaround. Premieres last night, so you're late. Late. Stamp it. Red letters. I think that helmet fixed my hair. Let's see yours. <gasps> that was a weekly dumb. Four teams, one goal. Make it to Las Vegas in just a few short weeks. With all eyes on the prize, we've teamed up with DraftKings, an official partner of the NFL, to get you in on the action. Right now, new customers who bet just $5 will get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use promo code WEEKLY, and you can bet just $5 on any wager and get 200 in bonus bets Instantly. That's promo code weekly only at DraftKings Sportsbook. One time I took a shit in a bathroom when we, we were in the there Dominican is. Republic at the resort and I you walked are. into the women's bathroom by accident Ooh. and then I was taking a poop and I heard everyone like, ah, da, like a big, like, uh, like a uh, oh. hoopla and they closed it That's because they saw me go in. That's yeah. good though. And then I, they were all waiting, like a bunch of women were waiting for like, there's a lone man shitting in there. Damn. Maybe he's a pervert. I was like, nah, sorry. Wrong. I didn't, I went in the wrong place. And what'd you say the story was? That's not the story. Right. Thanks. Thanks for bringing that one up. No problem, Jim.